Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and this is going to be my May favorites, and I'm going to try to keep this really short and sweet because it's coming summer and I've really been trying to pare down my cosmetics and trying to use a lot less or trying to use things that multi-purpose. So my first product won't surprise you. I've been using it like crazy. This is my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, and I've really, really been liking this because it saves me from having to pull out a million eyeshadows and a million different colors and a million different finishes because in this palette you actually get a 120 eyeshadows and a few different finishes. You get shimmer, you get matte, and you get some pearl tones, and even some that are a little bit more glittery. You've got gold, pinks, blues, greens, warm and cool tone colors. So I really, really like the palette for that. And I also like that it's inexpensive, and like I said, I don't have to pull out a million cosmetics or a million eyeshadows. I live now in a place where everything has to be compact. I have a roommate, so I can't have my stuff all over the place. So this palette really helps me to be organized and keep everything nice and easy and simple. My next product I'm going to show you is also not going to surprise you. I've been using these like crazy. And these are three of my favorite uh, Revlon lipsticks right now. Actually, two of them are new and I actually did not do a haul on these. So I'll go ahead and tell you that one is a pearl. Actually, two are a pearl. One's called Ice Mocha and one's called Coco Bronze and they're both nude colors and I've been loving these lately to go underneath a peachy gloss to kind of give me a nude with a little bit of a peach tone to it. So this is Coco Bronze and this is Iced Mocha. They're both from Revlon. And then the next one is Peach Me and I've really been loving it. It's like a soft brownish peach, almost kind of like a nudie color. Hopefully you can see that really clearly. I've been loving them. I've been loving the Revlon lipsticks lately because they're pigmented, they're creamy, they're moisturizing, they're inexpensive, and they just really are making some really knockout colors right now. My big problem with cosmetics from the drugstore used to be that they don't create any unique colors. Everything's pink, brown, or red. Now they have peaches, they have lavender, they have corals, they have shimmer and sparkle, and hot pinks, and, and neon colors that are really, really popular right now. So they're really making it easy and accessible to get your high quality fix at a low price, and I really, really like that. My next um, lip products are actually, one actually I have one more Revlon, wow this is called Peachy, Peachy Sheen and this is from the Revlon Cream Gloss um, line and I really like this because, well I just dropped it, so I'll pick up another one. Okay so I really really like these because they come with the brush tip applicator and you just turn it up. So every time you turn it you get fresh gloss and you're able to apply it with a brush which really helps with precision and helping your lip gloss to look nice and fresh and neat on your mouth. And then these two are from the Fashion Fair line from the Jump to Broom collection. This one is called Brave Girl. I'm not, yeah, Brave Girl. Brave Babe. <laughs> this is called Brave Babe. And then this one is called Coral Craze. And I like them both because they're in the peachy orange family and especially coral craze has a beautiful golden undertone so if you also have golden undertones this is going to be a color that you're definitely going to need uh, for summer because it's going to make you look absolutely beautiful and then brave babe has cool undertones very red undertones so if you are red tones whether you be a red bone or chocolate tone it is going to be really, really nice. They're really, really pretty colors. Hopefully you can see them. I have more swatches on my blog, so definitely go and check some of those out at destinygodly.blogspot.com. My favorite favorite is not going to... Hmm. My next favorite is not going to surprise you. These have been in my favorites for the past three months, I believe. And these are my Sonia Kashuk eyelashes. I really, really like these eyelashes. They flare out, they're kind of spiky and uneven, and they look really natural, and they can easily be cut in half, and then you have two pairs of eyelashes for the ends of your eyes, and that gives you a really pretty almond eye look, which is really sexy and kind of cute for the spring, and really light, so I like to do that with those eyelashes. And then I have a nail polish, and I'm looking for the other one. Okay. So this is the nail polish that I have on my nails right now. Hopefully you can see that really well. That's called Lucky Lucky Lavender and that's from OPI and I really really love this color. It's really cute. Sometimes it comes off kind of pinkish and sometimes it comes off like a really soft sweet pastel lavender. Depending on your skin tone it's a really really pretty um, nail polish. And then I like these two together. This is Revlon's Papaya which I actually should have showed with my lip products. I've been loving this lately. And then this one is, let me see if I can think without looking. 
can never remember. Chapel of Love. This one's Chapel of Love from OPI. And I really, really like this. It's a really pretty peachy pink with gold undertones. And then this is kind of a similar tone, except for this is more of a uh, corally pinkish color. And it's really, really pretty. And I will show you on the back of my hand really fast. So there that is. Hopefully you can see that. And again, that's Papaya from Revlon. My next couple of products are actually moisturizers. And if you're not aware of the fact that I live in California, I live in California, and now you're aware of the fact. And it is really, really hot out here. The water kind of dries your skin out a bit, and then the fact that you live in the desert just all adds up together to create some really, really dry skin. So I've been using Lubiderm, and I haven't been using it this long this time around. But I've used it in the past and I always love this moisturizer and I always go to something else and I end up coming back and I the reason I come back is because it's a great moisturizer. So if you have dry skin and you haven't tried Lumiderm, that might be something you want to do. This is the Daily Moisture Lotion for normal to dry skin, but I actually probably should have gotten one for extremely dry skin. I like it because it's non-greasy and the moisture actually lasts for a pretty long time during the day. It doesn't get all absorbed by my clothes and then my legs are ashy. Anyway. Um, the next moisturizer is actually a facial moisturizer and this is from La Roche-Posay and it's Melody and I like this because this helps to not only protect and moisturize your skin, it has an SPF and it has kojic acid in it and if you're not familiar with kojic acid it's actually a derivative of a mushroom and it helps to um, slow the progress of dark spots on your skin if you suffer from dark or hyperpigmentation areas on your face, around your mouth, on the sides, around your forehead. This is a really, really great moisturizer for that. So you might want to go ahead and check that out. Definitely hit Google up because I'm not as scientifically sound on this product as I once was. But it's a really great product. Again, that's called Melody Dark Spots and that's from La roche Posay. Okay, so it's summer and I'm really, really into the bronzer look and I mean, even though I may be of a darker shade, you definitely do have options out there for bronzers and I'm going to show you two of my favorites this, this season. Um, this actually, this one's really new. I haven't been using this one for a very long time, but you guys remember my rave when I got this, how excited I was. This is from Guerlain and it's their Terracotta Bronzer in 08 Ebony. And this has to be one of the darker bronzers that I've ever seen. It's a beautiful, beautiful ebony shade with a very light coating of glitter. Actually, the glitter is throughout the product, so it's not really a coating. But I really like it because it gives your skin a nice glow without being too glowy. And then once you get to the bottom of the product, you still have a lot of that nice glitter still infused into your product. So if you haven't tried this, then I would definitely say take yourself to uh, Sephora and definitely try this out because I absolutely love it and I think you will too. The next product is from Terra Bronzer and this is actually very similar to the color of the Guerlain bronzer except for the fact that this is baked so it's shimmery and has more of a pearlescent type glow to it but it's just as dark and it has um, cool undertones and it's very very kind of glowy Whereas the terra, excuse me, terracotta bronzer is more toward a matte finish. This one's more of a glowy finish, so this one probably be better to use in the center of your face, and then the terracotta bronzer more toward the outside of your face. And I did a little bit of a swatch. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, but you can't probably because they're both very similar to the color of my skin but when they're applied on the face it's a lot more evident because I also have on some highlighter to make the bronzer pop. My next product of course is my homemade tinted moisturizer. If you're not familiar with this or if you don't know how I made it definitely check the bottom bar because I will have a link to that video. It's definitely a must see because it's a great way to create your own tinted moisturizer if you can't find that one in the store that just suits you perfectly. Go ahead and make your own. And my last product, of course, is my Makeup Forever 12 Color Flash Kit. I absolutely have been loving this lately. I've been getting back into the swing of things with wearing more colorful eyeshadows than I have lately. I went into a new phase. But I absolutely love this for base. And you can use it on your lips and cheeks. They're all not eye safe. So if you are going to go ahead and get this, definitely make sure the colors that you use are eye safe. 
because I don't think the red and the pink is but there's some beautiful colors in here and I mean even if you don't have this something that would be comparable would be using a creamy eyeliner or something that doesn't set dry because these don't set dry they set very creamy that's why they work great for base because they hold on to the product and hold it down to your eyelid well I think that is everything that I wanted to show you I want to keep this nice and short and sweet so thank you so much for watching as always and I would really appreciate it if you guys would put some of your favorite products in the bottom bar because I'm looking for a few new things to try not really in the market to buy a whole bunch of stuff but I'm out kind of browsing a little bit as always guys thank you so much for commenting rating and subscribing I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye